Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Daniel. So in this video, I will be discussing with you how much we need, how much we need for proof of fund, how much we need to show, okay? The amount of money that you will need to show when you are applying for your study permit, when you are applying your study visa, okay? This is for study. So if you are relocating to Canada to go and study, okay, proof of fund is the amount of money that you will need to show visa officers, okay, just as a proof or as an evidence that you will not become a liability when you get there. You'll be able to sustain yourself, you'll be able to take care of yourself without depending on anybody, without depending on anybody. Okay, so now in this video, I'll be showing you the amount of money that you will need. This money is still your money. You are not paying anybody. You are not giving this money to anybody. You only want to show it. They need to see it. Okay, it's like they see it in your account. They see it in your name. So that means you have access to it. They want to make sure that you have the money. They are not touching it. They are not taking it from you. They want to see it. So you have the money and you have access to the money and you can spend it anytime you want. That's the proof that they want, okay? They are, you are not paying anybody this money. So how much will, will you need to show for proof of fund? How much will you need to show? So now, let me quickly show you this. So now, you can check these figures on... Uh, on the government and on the Canadian government website, okay, it is officially listed there. Yeah, I will drop the link to this website in the description of this video below. So, if you are gaining value, if you are getting something from this video and you have not subscribed to this channel, please go and subscribe to my channel right now. Subscribe to this channel and also like this video, click that thumb thumb up uh, icon to like this video. So now, let's begin. So now, if you are just the only person that is relocating, you are just the only applicant that is going without your dependents, just only you, you will need to show 10,000 Canadian dollars. 10,000 Canadian dollars. So it's not a must that you keep dollar in your account. No, that's not what they are saying. What they are saying is you can have uh, equivalent in whatever currency in your country, if you are from Nigeria. They are saying you need Naira equivalent. I'm taking Nigeria for, for instance. Naira equivalent of this amount okay and it is going to be in uh, the official rates not black market rates if you are from nigeria you will understand what i'm talking about so just google the official rates of canadian dollars to naira i think as at the time i'm uh, recording this video i think it's around 341 or 340 so just multiply it by 10000 canadian dollar you can Check, check the current official rate in your local currency, then multiply it by any figure that you see here in order for you to have the accurate figure in your own local currency. So if it is just only you, you will need 10,000 Canadian dollars, okay? So now, if you are going with somebody, maybe you are going with your spouse, your husband, your wife, or your kid, okay? So now, Let's say you are going with your wife. Let's say you are a man, you are going with your wife. You will have to add this 4,000 Canadian dollars here to the 10,000 Canadian dollars, making 14,000 Canadian dollars. Let's say it is you and your wife now. You will need 14,000 Canadian dollars. Okay, your local currency equivalent to 14,000 Canadian dollars. Okay, so if you are from Nigeria, you will convert 14,000 Canadian dollars to Naira in official exchange rates. Okay, so now let's say you are three now. Your, you, your wife or your spouse and a kid. 
you are three now, right? So now that means you now have another dependent. You now have another dependent. So you will add 3,000 to the 14,000 that you have before, making 17,000. So every other dependent, you'll be add, you just be adding 33,000. Okay, you just be adding 33,000 after the first dependent. So now, for instance, let's say family of four. Let's be practical here. Let's say family of four. Let's say you, your spouse, and two kids, for instance. So now, that's husband, wife, and two kids, right? You will need 10,000 for you, the applicant. Okay, 10,000 for you, the applicant. 4,000 for you, the spouse. And 3,000, 3,000 3, each for each of the kids. So now this 3,000 times two, everything equals 20,000 Canadian dollars. Okay, if you have to do the calculation. Okay, hope you understand this. If you have any question about this, just drop your question in the comments section below this video. So hope you understand how much we need to show as the uh, how much we need to show as your proof of fund as your bank statements when you are applying through study permits okay so now how do you show proof of fund don't worry i've done another video i will drop the link to this video in the description below this video as well how much we need to show as proof of fund the video is there i've done it sorry how to show okay there are eight officially ways eight officially ways approved by canadian immigration there are eight officially approved i discussed all of this in detail okay i will drop the link to that video in the description below this video and by the way have you subscribed to this channel if you have not subscribed to the channel please go ahead and click that subscribe button now and also click that like icon, that thumb up icon to show that you like this video and also turn up your notification button so that whenever I upload videos like this, you will be the first person to see it. And by the way, if you need the step-by-step -step guide, step-by-step -step guide for you to be able to relocate to Canada to study, I also have a video on that that shows step by step, regardless of which of the certificates that you need, whether OND, whether BSc, whether Masters, whether HND. I have detailed video that shows step by step. Okay. And if you need to do it yourself, Park, you have you don't need an agent and all of that. I will drop a link to that. Uh, do it yourself package as well that we show you how you can do your processing by yourself without an agent. I will drop all of these links in the description of this video. So hope you are subscribed to this channel and I really appreciate your time. See you in my next video. Bye.